Friday. Okay, so this evening I wanted to speak about trauma and self-regulation as it relates to uh, the practice of yoga nidra and on sleep deep rest. So it's kind of a big topic and I think it's an important one and one that is good to incorporate into any meditation practice to um, explore not just our own trauma, but the, the concept of what does it mean to feel trauma as it arises in the body and then to be able to self-regulate as that happens and how does yoga nidra and the practice of meditation help that and also help help us process through maybe some unprocessed trauma. Um, I was listening to, hi Mary Jane, welcome. I was listening to Gabor Mate has the new book out, which is called The Myth of Normal. Uh, it's kind of everywhere on the internet right now and was listening to him today and uh, just just listening to him talk about in a really simple, beautiful way, uh, talking about what it is to actually when you have a moment where it's kind of a trauma or a relational wounding or attachment wounding kind of arises in you. It could be from a memory. It could be from a difficult movement with a loved one or an email comes in text. He was just talking about the simplicity of being with the body sensation of that wounding as it arises. And I think what happens when we do have past traumas that arise in, in our body mind, what can happen is we want to move so quickly into action. And, um, and it's not that often that we talk about trauma within the context of meditation. I mean, certain meditation protocols certainly are focused on that, but, um, because it's one of those tricky topics, I think many teachers uh, tend to avoid it <laughs> a little bit. Um, and I wanted to just share briefly that, uh, that this is really what got me into meditation and where I began in terms of the teaching and uh, starting off at Walter Reed Army Medical Center with wounded warriors, active duty soldiers, many, many years ago uh, with Robin Carnes from the IRS Yoga Nidra work, and then going and working in, in women's jails in Cincinnati and San Quentin State Prison in California and San Bruno County Jail in California. Um, with UN humanitarian workers who are working with vicarious trauma from their work and also carrying their own trauma. And so in these different settings, I've worked with Yoga Nidra, the non-sleep deep rest practice, and also with meditation and mindfulness practices to address trauma and self-regulation as they're linked together so um, clearly that when something arises in us that is uh, coming from a, a traumatic wounding, that it's so important to be able to self-regulate in those moments, not to push it back down, but to actually allow and feel it without expressing it in ways that are unhealthy um, or harmful. But what I want to talk about this evening regarding the yoga nidra practice is that, you know, I think we all carry in some form uh, trauma in our bodies just from living in this society, in this world. And I think that's what the, the work of Gavar Mate is saying, that um, we're not living in a normal society and it's actually traumatic simply to be exposed to what we're exposed to on a day-to-day -day basis. And so for the people that are that are listening or practicing, you can consider uh, a trauma that you may know that you carry in your body. I, I definitely could name a few that would would come to me offhand of real challenges in my life that that were traumatic that then left a body imprint that I've had to work with over a period of time, and that's really what got me into meditation and. Um, what got me, helped me to work through it. But I can say that we, we all carry these imprints in us and it comes up time to time. So I think in the, the meditation practice, 
especially with non-sleep depressed, we can focus so much on the resourcing aspect and what it's like to be able to downregulate our system so significantly that we're going into these states of sleep and in and out and just deeply safe and rested and at ease. The beauty of that is that it prepares us also to be able to work in meditation with trauma that we've experienced. We can actually um, bring it in during our meditation practice and from the, the um, perspective of that safety and that resource, we're able to turn toward and meet it and, and slowly just, just be with it, just in the same practices of mindfulness and meditation, but we're doing it in this sort of in-between hypnagogic state. And so I would say when we go into the practice this evening, I would suggest if you have a like a 10 pound weight trauma you're thinking of versus a five pound weight, I would leave the 10 pound weight uh, for another time when you're perhaps in person um, with people in a group where you're practicing. But I think we also shouldn't shy away from our own traumas and from being willing to consider them um, before the meditation practice as we're getting into it, and then to turn towards them with that deep kindness and presence because of the not just building resilience, but because of also the, the integration that can happen when we do meet ourselves in that way. And spontaneous things can happen. I mean, I've been in so many rooms teaching like San Quentin, for instance, where you can just feel trauma is integrating in the room. You know, as one of the people was like, a sole survivor, you know, uh, on his squad from um, a hostage rescue situation. And so there was massive trauma there and doing the practice allowed him to process through that and not necessarily focusing on the challenge or the trauma, but it was inevitably in the room with him, right? As, as he's doing the practice. And so if you're up for it, I would suggest that you find a five pound weight in the sense of something that Know, has has been um, what you would consider a trauma for yourself that that you would like to work with in the practice that you feel is kind of a manageable thing that um, you feel willing to feel and, and, and tolerate from within this context of um, creating a safe space and having the body scan and knowing the, the way that I'll be guiding us through it uh, will be supportive. Um, I know that when when I first started working, this was with the wounded warriors, at the active duty soldiers at um, Walter Reed Army Medical Center in DC, we'd have uh, soldiers that would just need to have their back against the wall or be near a door or, you know, um, there's such a level of activation that can happen and so that seems extreme maybe for the people listening to this um, and to me, but at the same time, I can see how at times my nervous system does get activated to levels that are, are, are vigilant, are truly vigilant and that, um, that can be directly traced back to these moments of trauma that are still unfolding in my body. And so it's a privilege and a beauty to be able to go back for those parts and return for them. So they're, they're not necessarily parts as in an eight-year-old version of ourselves all absolutely could be, um, but they're kind of moments that kind of snapshot moments in our life or a series of moments that left us feeling a certain way, um, a little bit more vigilant in our body or, um, scattered or this kind of a thing, you you can find that for yourself for what that is for you. Um, it's edgy for me to teach this online because I like being in the room with people and you know being able to walk over and, and check in. So I I'd, I'd really say if this is a topic that's a little too much for you that you could um, yeah just tune into your own meditation while I'm speaking and during that part and. And yet, and yet, 
it's an invitation for us to turn towards these really subtle um, holdings that are so innocent uh, in our bodies and minds, and yet that can have real impact. And so let's see, all of that to say, let me see if there was something else I wanted to say. Yeah. So if you think of a time you got dysregulated in some way, and I mean, this could be standing in line at a bank and you saw an interaction that, that was hard for you. So, um, and, and you think about what's elicited in you and then how challenging it can be to self-regulate when you have kind of that kind of an experience of activation in your body. And so the dual thing we're doing in this practice is resourcing, and we're also learning this kind of self-regulation, this kind of down-regulation of the nervous system when we do experience feelings related to, uh, to trauma. And another point, I think I emphasized it before, but just to say it again is, it's not to push it back down because it's such a beautiful thing when we can come in contact with it. Um, but it is to actually allow the feeling to unfold in the body. And, um, you know, some of the literature says like discharge in a way. So you're allowing the energy to actually move through the body. And um, this may be basic for some of us here, but it's just how when a zebra is grazing in the wild and then, you know, suddenly looks up and is there something going on? And then it kind of, no, there is no threat and it shakes it off. So that's an, a little mini example of shaking off or discharging held or stuck energy in the body. I think yoga nidra is very powerful for this um, because it's not coming at it through the mental model and frameworks, but it's coming at it directly through the body and um, in, in, a, in a safe environment. So. So what I'd, I'd like us to do before we get into the practice is just to consider like maybe one situation comes to mind or one moment or something that we know that there's some level of kind of like a, a tra trauma that we carry. And it could be like our first year of college, for instance, or um, you know, something from high school or something from last year, something from COVID, uh, you know, just anything that comes to mind for you of something that is, brings up a, a, a strong body response in you when you consider it, that there's kind of still something held or not stuck, but held in your body. That's what we will go into the practice with the intention to work with. Um, maybe just raise your hand if you don't have something that comes to you and I'll suggest something for you if, if not. Um, okay. So if, if you're listening and you don't have something that comes to you, then you can see, you can see any images that arise when we get into that section of the practice. So always go at your own pace and listen to yourself with all the caveats I've given and, um, the intention here isn't to overwhelm our nervous system. We'll do the exact same kind of a practice we normally do, but we, we will be inviting in and welcoming and meeting as body sensation and seeing where the energy wants to move in the body as we consider um, any any trauma that we may want to lean into and meet and, and have a positive experience with in the sense of being able to hold that with love and care and not making ourselves wrong such a it's, it's a, such a natural body response to something challenging so all right well if you'd like to get comfortable are, are there any questions before we go into the practice okay yeah let's start the practice if you'd like to have your cameras on or off and just, yeah, feel free to get comfortable. I like being a little vague with, with the terminology I'm using because I think being o overly specific, I'm not a, an, an expert in the terminology in this area, but also just it lets our bodies have it, their own natural wisdom as we go into the practice instead of needing to kind of dissect it and understand mentally 
um, trauma is such a body-based thing and it happens in the body and gets healed in the body as do you know our relational wounds and attachment wounds that can somehow sometimes be related to traumas that we feel okay so how about you let go of everything I've said to this moment and then allow yourself to get comfortable just kind of settle in uh, get supported to explore in this meditation practice welcoming any trauma that may you may want to um, give some time to and feel into and allow let it move as it wants to move through your body but really at first we'll begin where we always begin in the meditation with an intention and with opening the senses and a body scan so notice even as you're settling in if there's sort of a, a sense in your mind of where this is headed or um, any other thoughts just noticing and welcoming them and then maybe taking three slow deep breaths in and out so as you inhale taking a breath in all the way to the crown of your head exhaling soles of your feet so do that with a couple more slow deep breaths allowing everything that's come before this moment to begin to fade into the background affirming inwardly that you're in charge of this meditation and can direct your attention where you'd like throughout noticing where your hands are perhaps face down on the surface that's supporting you or on your belly or chest can you feel the contact point of your hands with the surface noticing any feeling tone in your body emotional tones and the breath coming and going continuing to lengthen the breath especially the exhalation sensing the back of the head and where it meets the surface whether it's a pillow or couch or bed wherever you are and the back of the heels meeting the surface just feeling the contact points back of heels back of head palms of hands taking three more of those breaths into the crown of the head out to the soles of the feet as you do so naming inwardly an intention for this session so your intention may be different than the suggested one feel free to follow your own maybe just to explore and see what arrives as a guest or visitor or maybe to focus on down regulating your nervous system or Perhaps it is to lean into an encounter and meet a held trauma in the body with care, with ease. So naming inwardly whatever intention you have for the practice.
And can you feel that intention, kind of allow it to settle in you? Does it lead you to perhaps a, a deeper heartfelt intention? Perhaps what brought you to this moment most essentially? Feeling into your heart, notice if there are any heartfelt intentions here. Maybe just like a word comes to you, like peace or joy or discovery, kindness. Just let your own heartfelt intention become clear, perhaps naming it inwardly, feeling into your heart. Still perhaps feeling the flow of the breath as you flow into the crown of the head, as you exhale out to the soles of the feet, like a natural flowing. Slow, deep breaths. And then open all of the senses. First, perhaps opening the ears to sound. So feeling how the whole body is a receptivity to sound. Sensing first the ears and then then the whole body receiving sound. So you can see how you may inquire and move fairly quickly from sensing the ears and then the whole body as a receptivity, sight, if your whole body is receiving sight, sensing the eyes and then the whole body. As you do this with an exhale, perhaps beginning to relax even further, letting go of any holding or grasping behind the eyes or in the inner ears. Sense of smell, taste. Feeling how the senses are operating naturally. Sense of touch. Notice where you're drawn, maybe the entire backside of your body and the surface that supports you, maybe the touch of air on your skin, the touch of your clothing on your body. And then sensing your whole body, like a receptivity to touch. Notice what you experience. The breath coming and going naturally. Senses open. Just not grasping, so continuing with that feeling of sound coming to you, light, colors, shadow, coming to you. Air on your skin. And resting here, breathing in and out. And inviting in that quality of inner resource, perhaps an image comes to you or it's directly a body sense where you feel at ease, safe, secure, if an image comes then allow the image to fill itself out with the sounds and sights, taste.
could be walking down a beach at sunset, it could be sitting on a bench by a lake or river with a beloved animal or a person or by yourself. It could be any other image that comes to you that brings these feelings of ease and well-being. naturalness, safety, and ease. If those sensations are present, can you allow them to pervade the whole body so the image that may be present that conjures up these feelings it might drop away the image, but you're left with a body sensation of feeling just at ease, peaceful, you can be fully yourself, no self-consciousness, relaxed. Breathing in and out for a few breaths, allow this feeling of inner resource permeate the whole body. Before we move into the body scan, taking a moment for this of compassion practice where you draw attention to your heart. You rest attention lightly in the heart. And then tune in to a quality of compassion for yourself, for those of us meditating or anyone else, it's kind of a softness, care. This is the, the nurturing energy of, of compassion we're just apprenticing ourselves to. So even if it feels cheesy or anything, just try it on that feeling of compassion from the heart as if it's just overflowing from the heart toward yourself, toward those around you, uncaused, with a joyful quality. And if, if that's there for you, then, then take a few more breaths, breathing in and out here, whether it's the inner resource or perhaps next, this sense of compassion. Feeling compassion, perhaps as like a self connection. Being willing to make that inward turn. We'll do a body scan, beginning in the jaw and ending in the feet. When I name a body part, simply feel the felt sensation, starting with the jaw. You may slightly move your jaw around and then relax any unnecessary holding from the day. Your ears, so starting with your left ear, taking a breath in and out, sensing the sensation. And then let your eyes be still, but allow your attention to draw over to the right ear, kind of without needing your eyes to be involved find yourself feeling the right ear, 
Are you seeing any sensations that you come upon? Relax behind the eyes as you do this. Now sense both ears simultaneously. Pure sensation. Could be a vibratory aliveness or a numbness or a slight sensation, whatever's here. Again, relaxing behind the eyes, notice any grasping. Bringing attention to your mouth and nose and the flow of the breath in and out. And now the eyes. So without picturing your eye, could you just simply feel the felt sense of the left eye? locating it and feeling the felt sense of it, letting go of grasping with the eyes. So feeling your way into the inquiry here. Again, relaxing any straining of the eyes, simply Allow the perception to shift over into the right eye. You're sensing any sensation in the right eye. Again, letting go of any holding or tension around the eye. And then both eyes simultaneously. The mind cannot easily be on two objects at once, so sensing both eyes. Bringing that quality of patience to the practice, just being with the sensation that you come upon moment to moment, letting go of thinking or if there's judging thoughts, whatever's here is welcome to be here, just allowing it to float right on by. So we'll bring attention up to the crown of the head and then down to the neck. So with an inhale, sensing that to the forehead, crown of the head, and then allow your exploration to go to the back of the head, back of the neck with an exhale. We may do that one more time, starting behind the eyes, inhaling, crown of the head, exhaling, back of the neck. Noticing any tension or holding anywhere in your neck. As you're feeling the sensation in your neck, can you perhaps spontaneously allow your attention to be drawn to both shoulders? Notice any kind of tightening or grasping in the shoulders. Just allow it to relax, upper back relax, mid back, low back relax muscles. Feeling all the way down in your left arm to the palm of your left hand. So your eyes will visualize and then let go of the visualization. Let your perceptive felt sense explore sensation in your entire left arm and hand. Can you feel how the body is like breathing itself gently, smoothly? Welcoming sensation, left arm, left hand. Allowing your attention to focus now on the palm of the left hand. 
notice any energy that may be present or numbness or a vibrancy of aliveness. Can you allow the sensation in the palm of the left hand to just become very foreground? No agenda, simply being with what you come upon. As we do so, letting the whole front side of your torso now relax. So chest, belly, solar plexus. Relax, letting go of any holding. Feeling if there's any kind of gross or subtle tension in your belly, solar plexus, allowing the breath to come and go and just bring relaxation, ease to your whole torso. Let the perceptual attention shift to the right arm from the right shoulder all the way down to the palm of the right hand. So your, your body is just naturally breathing itself. You may simultaneously kind of follow the breath in and out, but your attention is absorbed. Right arm, right hand. And then just in the palm of the right hand, can you feel the sensation in the palm of the right hand? As we're kind of dropping thinking here, just feeling, perceiving. Now let's do simultaneously both hands, the palms of both hands, maybe feeling like a throbbing aliveness or tingling sensation or numbness, whatever is here. And then from both palms of the hands, feeling both arms, both shoulders, whole torso, head and neck. And relaxing behind the eyes, any grasping that might be there, ears. And the whole body is like a receptivity to this focused attention training practice. Bringing attention to your hips, pelvis your whole left leg and left foot. So if you do bring attention back to the breath, feel how it's just naturally, spontaneously kind of body breathing itself gently with ease. And all your attention is in the left leg, left foot. And then the focus on the sole of the left foot. Noticing any energy in the left leg as well. No agenda. Feeling into that compassion, that kindness, the resource. We're just being with our own body, body sensations as they arise in our awareness. Shifting perceptual attention to the right leg, right foot. Breath flowing in and out. And letting all of your attention rest in the sole of the right foot. Notice perhaps with curiosity what you come upon as sensations in the right foot. Now both 
feet, the soles of both feet at the same time. Really let go of visualizing or thinking and be in the pure felt sense of the soles of both feet. Just notice it may feel like a real throbbing aliveness, radiance or vibration, soles of the feet. Just being with the energy as, as it moves or doesn't. connect soles of the feet all the way up to the crown of the head feel sensation there and then everywhere in between feel your body maybe lighting up like a christmas tree or just sensation globally you may notice flows of energies as you do the practice need to figure out what it is simply just getting very close perceptually to your exploration letting the words just kind of become your words as placing attention on the body I like to breathe in and breathe out, feel the whole body. Alive, radiant, any places of tension or numbness are welcome as well. If there are any particular places that you're drawn to in your body, this is the moment to let your perceptual attention drift to those places and just bring attention and awareness there. Notice any sensations, what may change, how the energy may move in your body. Again, you may feel it as, as flows of energy or tingling, vibration, or numbness, or You may be thinking in images, whatever is present is more than welcome, just as it is. But what if we just drop thinking, exploring directly in the body? Nothing to figure out, no one to be, nothing to know or do or get. Breathing, just being, feeling. Welcoming whatever is present in your own experience here. It could be just so welcome that you're at one with it or you could feel more of a welcoming presence like a compassion, whatever is in your experience. If you'd like to continue this body sensing practice and sensing as the breath comes and goes, feel free. But if you'd like to turn attention, we'll stay with the sensation in the body, but we'll also turn toward and welcome perhaps what we started the meditation with. Um, it could be a memory or an image, or it could be just a felt sense in your body, something left over from something that was a challenge. So as you're remaining in touch with a felt sense in your body, energy flows in your body, you're also simultaneously allowing images to arise, fade away, perhaps one after the other, perhaps just one. It may be more a welcoming of an emotional tone. As we turn towards this 
what's called trauma, where it feels held in the body or something that may come along with images, memories, feelings, emotions, and sensations. So as you consider this moment or series of moments or a feeling after, it gets elicited in you from time to time. We're just welcoming it to be here, feeling it as a pure sensation of energy in the body. So you're taking your time, being slow as you need, feeling all the, the care of the inner resource and the support as you allow and turn towards any body sensations associated with this memory or feeling. And what if it's just so welcome to be here at the pure sensation level that you almost might not have a name for it. It's just a pure sensation that's here. If that's the case for you, can you allow the sensation in your body to move if it's moving or to follow the thread of it if it's sort of at one place like your belly or your throat or maybe it's a whole body feeling you may have images or your body may even want to move in some way so letting your body move if need be or just the energy to move through the body as you consider what it is that you're welcoming and being with that was a trauma or a challenge So let the wisdom of the body shine through here. So if you feel something in your belly, perhaps laying a hand on the belly, or if you feel something in your throat, you may want to open your jaw, you may make a sound or have some movement happen. Or perhaps it's all just subtle, you know, no outward movement. recognizing that some of the images or feelings may be challenging, bringing that quality of, of compassion, the resource to meet it so fully, right at the level of sensation. If it's an emotion, meeting it right at the level of sensation. Memory, notice what it elicits as sensation in the body. If at any moment you need to return to the inner resource, feel free. Allowing the wisdom of the body and any movement of energy to take place. Just an open vessel here turning towards. With an eye toward resilience, toward regulation, wanting to allow what has been dormant or frozen to feel like it can move. So we don't know what will happen. This is the inquiry, this is a spiritual um, inquiry here we're making, just allowing ourselves to be in the unfolding. We actually don't know moment to moment what may come next and feeling the willingness, the resource, the care to Allow this to continue to unfold and pausing at any time. Just letting the psyche kind of surprise you. If any notice if any images change or if the sensations change in some way. Inviting in kind of the wild aliveness and, and wisdom of the body to show and reveal and meet this trauma just with beauty, with care, with heart.
can even have a picture in your mind's eye of your body moving, whether you're moving or not, or you may feel very still inside, whatever's here for you, just perfect as it is. Stay with your inquiry, and, or if you'd like, have the inquiry happening in your body and then also bring attention to the palms of both hands simultaneously. Just feeling the energy there. Feel free if you'd like to place the palms of your hands on your thighs or chest and belly. Feeling also the soles of your feet, the ground your heels and the crown of your head whole body open receptive to meet welcome feel whatever's here noticing now coming back to the trauma just check in is there has, have any images changed now? Does it look different? What's a new image, perhaps? Perhaps the body rests comfortably. Perhaps more energy is moving through. There's no particular way this needs to look. Surrendering to the wisdom of the body as, as much as possible here. If it feels right, now make contact with the entire backside of your body. The images and memories and mental impressions, emotions that make that you you may want to invite that to begin to fade into the background. However, if there's something very alive for you that you'd like to stay with, this is your meditation. Please do. It's almost like allowing your um, perceptive awareness to kind of settle into the whole backside of your body. So you may begin to feel a sense of ground contact with the surface that supports you. Ease. You may find your exhales lengthening. Just notice what's present now for you in this moment. Can you bring a, a kind awareness to your experience? What's here now? Is there any insight? Like a word or a phrase that comes to you or a recognition, so make space if there is anything that wants to be recognized or seen. An insight or a shift regarding this. Just feeling as your your breath is coming and going. Can be rested here. No need for a director of attention or a separate self. Just this quality of openness of being. Just being. Perhaps making any commitments to return to any part of the practice that may still call to you afterward. And 
that you won't leave it behind, that you'll turn and encounter it in your own way when you can. Imagine yourself for the next few minutes just sort of bask in the breath, the being. Perhaps making contact again with that resource or the compassion from the heart. here for a separate controller, doer, identifier. So it's just kind of a radical openness. It's an invitation for a radical openness of being. And you can let yourself close the practice in any way that feels right for you. So that may mean that you take really a few minutes to rest here. invite you to really take your time with this and let the practice, the meditation practice, uh, live itself out for the next few moments. And if and when it feels right, beginning to kind of move the fingers and toes and Knees in towards the chest and off to one side, but that's not a rush. That's just when, when it feels right and you are ready to come back. And that could be a few minutes from now, really taking your time, going slow, feeling yourself carrying the meditation with you, picturing even going through your evening and then into sleep and perhaps into a deep, restful sleep this evening, waking up feeling refreshed, connected, sense of belonging and presence. So we'll stop the recording here and then have time to come back. So 